I mean, trying to go to finish your hits every time. I think in playoffs, it's every single time someone touched it. I mean, there's a guy coming to try and finish a hit on you. So uh, it's a seven game series. Um, you want to make sure that people know that you're coming every time. So, um, you know, obviously it's, it's a little bit more intense and I mean, people are hungry. You talked about, um, I just lost my train of thought here. Uh, but you, talk, oh, you were talking about being on home ice and, uh, and uh, obviously you guys had a great record in the regular season, 29 wins. Uh, is, what's, do you think that really can be a difference here in the playoffs, having the home crowd on your side? Uh, I mean, I think so. Um, but I think at the same time, I mean, being home, being in your own bed, um, you know, I think it just relaxes you a little bit more. But I mean, um, we're, we're going to need our fans big tonight. Uh, they're going to have to come out and, um, you know, they're going to have to show support. Uh, they've done it all year long. So uh, it's always exciting coming back home for the first playoff game and seeing how they're going to react. Their, their top line brings a bit of everything. What do you see specifically from Pasternak's game? Uh, I mean, he's, uh, he's a guy that's very sneaky, I think, at, at getting open in the Ozone. And, those two guys find him very well, but at the same time, I mean, he's a guy that, um, you know, if you don't stay tight to him, he's going to make plays on you. He's, uh, he can spin off you very quickly and get to the net. And, um, obviously, I mean, you've seen a shot, but uh, also at the same time, he's very good at being uh, deceptive. I think he can make plays um, without you thinking about it. So I uh, just got to be aware of, I think, all three of them when they're out there. Just got to make sure you're kind of taking away their time and space, and that's the thing we're going to have to do tonight. What can you see from Thomas that will help complement you guys as line mates, do you think, Mitch? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, he's been a... He's very good at shutting down, I think, top opponents. Um, you know, he's done it for a long time, Montreal. Um, he's, uh, he's a guy that gets in the circle and wins a lot of draws, I think, also. So that's going to be good, getting the puck in our hands. Um, obviously, he's, you know, it's going to be a big matchup tonight in, in the faceoff circle, so me and Patty are going to have to help him out. But, um, I mean, he's a guy that can make plays also and, um, you know, gets the net quick and hard and uh, makes it hard on goalies. So it's, uh, it's going to be exciting playing with him tonight. Just how big is this for your season tonight? How big is tonight? Yeah, I mean, it's huge. Um, you know, just got to make sure that, uh, like I said, we, we get in home ice. Um, we got to make sure we come out ready to play. We know what they're going to bring. Uh, we got to make sure we, we push back right at the start and make sure that maybe we start off the game with the puck in our hands. And um, I mean, we want to start off, I think, forechecking them. I mean, I think the last two games, I mean, kind of the first five minutes, it's been in their hands. So um, coming back to home ice, we got to make sure it's in ours. Takeaways. Takeaways in the neutral zone. Just one last question. Doing what you were able to do just two nights ago. Yeah, do you see a chance to capitalize on that and at least take away from that speed coming in against you and, of course, your defenseman? Uh, definitely. I mean, I think, uh, you know, when, when you steal a puck in the neutral zone, I mean, if you turn it up quick, I think it kind of makes it hard on opponents' defensemen to kind of read off that. Guys aren't really back. So, um, you know, it's kind of just, I think, hard to read on that.